What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Surgeon. Bow. Um, time to do some work. I've been did no jobs all week. Today's Friday. This is my first time actually doing a job. <laughs> but um, you ever had those times where it's like you don't have no jobs to do, but you keep checking your kind of like, I know I'm supposed to be doing something. And as you can see, this right here in the background happened. See the stupid cord, freaking um, Comcast came and put this in my yard. They said, oh, we'll be back in two weeks to bury it. What? Like, how am I supposed to cut my grass? Like, really? So now I gotta cut around that. But today, all I gotta do is, um, my neighbor across the street, she wants me to weed eat her yard and um, I have to go spray somebody's yard. And I have to go ahead to tree. Yep, so I don't need any actual power equipment because as you can see, it's a little cloudy. I don't know if y'all can actually see that, but anyway, let me get my weed ear out. That's all I'm gonna need for today. Because I'm gonna use that in my attachments. Let's go. Do a little cold start. I ain't started my weed eater in about a week. Let's go.
All right, YouTube. As y'all saw at the beginning of the video, y'all got me with some new boots. And um, they feel pretty good. They're a little stiff right now because I guess they're new. But, you know, I'm going to break them in. I also got this shirt. Um, if y'all notice in my other videos, I be wearing them extra medium shirts that like only come to my waistline. So I ordered this shirt off of Amazon for $7.50, I think. It's an XL tall, so that way, you know, it comes down a little further because I'm about 6'3". So any, any of you guys out there that are tall and looking for some tall tees, they got all the colors, you know. So it's a Hanes Beefy Tee. I believe, I, I think that's the name of it. $7.50, I'm not sure if I paid for shipping. Because for some stuff, if you pay $35 or more, you get free shipping on Amazon. But right now, I just finished the spray job, and now I'm on my way to uh, do this hedging job. Uh, the customer, the customer, I, I did the job last year. She has a, a tree that hangs over her fence. It what grows over her fence. It's a crepe myrtle, I think. And um, she got me to trim it back last year, so it's not hanging over a fence. So I'm going back to do that this year. I would use a pruner, but if I have an excuse to use my pole saw, why not? Well, looks like I'm gonna have to use the pruners. I could use the pole saw, but it won't be as precise. You know, because she wants, she likes it cut down so that's about even with the fence, and then basically to clean it up. So, won't we'll be able to get into the grooves with the pole saw. And also, she don't like how it's coming through the fence like this. So we can get rid of those limbs too. Then I'm gonna spray all this junk. If she wants to clean it out. I don't want to just weed eat it and then grow right back. Uh, I guess I'll come back. I'll just spread and come back. Oh well. Let's get to it.
going to whip out the pole saw. Yes, sir. There we go. Nice pruning job complete. Get a little snapshot of that. Bam. Oh, yeah. There you go. This is what we got up. I mean, got off the tree. Like I said, when pruning, you want to try to leave as much as possible, but you need to take what you need to take. And if the tree is healthy, it'll grow back. Yeah, I cut this tree back way more last year, and uh, it grew thicker this year. She said, um, "This is the first time she's seen flowers bloom on it um, in a while." So, I guess I must have did something right. So, I'm not coming through the fence no more. And it's about the same height as the fence, like she wanted. So, there we go. So, I'm going to spray this junk. Clean this junk up. And that'll be a day. Thanks for watching. If you got any comments. Oh, yeah. Before we go, I want to show y'all. People who never pruned before. Basically, when you're pruning, you kind of want to look for a knuckle. See, right here, this is a perfect example. Right here is where I was using my pole saw. And that's why I didn't want to use my pole saw at first, but then I got a little pole saw happy. See how I made this rough? You know, you almost damaged the uh, tree. But right here, this is where I was using my pruner. And you want to find what I like to call, I, get, I don't know what it's called, I call it the knuckle. It's where it probably previously been cut and then sprouts, I sprouted to it. So when you want to cut something down, you find that knuckle, and you cut around that knuckle, like that. So that's what I did there, and whatnot. And you just let it sprout back, but yeah. I mean, that's pretty much pruning. Nothing to it, certain trees you gotta prune certain ways, but I don't know how to do all that fancy stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching comment subscribe stay tuned yes sir.